Hello everyone and welcome to the Game Shed with me, Jamie. I'm doing another mystery Steam Key bundle and I'm using a different site today. I'm using Steam Deals with a Z dot com. The Steam Game Lottery number one. Now this was a suggestion by one of our viewers, a lovely chap who goes by the rather seedy name of D underscore X underscore Wood. And um, he reached out to us and said, try this site out. I've never actually tried it out myself, but I know of it. And, uh, well, here I am trying it out. What do I know of the site? Nothing more than what's on this site here. So let's have a little read through. Pay $2 and get your chance on winning Epic Steam games worth up to $100. Every key gets you a random Steam game, no DLC, no demos, no free games, only region free and multi-language keys. Every game is worth more than $2, so you are always winning. Feeling lucky? Try it. So let's scroll down, have a little look. Only region free keys, automated and instant key delivery. You already own the game you got? Give it to a friend. Extend your Steam game library. Get lots of trading cards and make your money back by selling them. All keys are picked 100% randomly by an algorithm. How does it work? Learn how it works. The SteamDeals.com process. Sorry, what? Learn how it works. The SteamDeals.com process. Okay. Not sure I fully get this sentence. Never mind. Select how many keys you want. Simply scroll down and select one of the packages, okay? After you paid, he's, sh he's shouting, or he's capitalizing this, you will receive your keys. So many capitalizations here. Paid, will receive. Are these people's names? I'm not entirely sure. Are they invisible full stops? Not entirely sure. We will deliver your keys to your email address spelled incorrectly. Oh, come on, instantly after you. Payhead? <laughs> this is getting better and better. Oh Christ, what are we letting ourselves in for? Redeem your keys on Steam. Simply redeem your keys on Steam and start playing new awesome games. See pricing. Some of the possible games. GTA 5, Counter-Strike, The Witcher 3. It goes on and on. Rocket League, Project Cars, Rust, Black Ops 3. Not out, but they'll give you a key for it. Okay, so some of the possible games. And uh, remember to capitalize a few random words here and there, just cuz. Latest news from our Facebook page. We've great fans. Um, do you? Are people actually commenting on your posts? No. So top 10 customers from September the 10th to October the 10th. Um, at the time of recording this, it's the 12th of September, so, uh, right, rather confused. Um, right, so this guy, he got GTA 5, H1Z1, Counter-Strike Go, prize, got 10 steamdeals.com keys, yeah, I'm not entirely sure. So here's the pricing structure, how much does it cost? Simply select a package from below and put in your email. Okay, you will receive your keys instantly after you paid for them. Christ, man. One key is $2, you will receive one random Steam game. Five keys, you will receive five random Steam games for $8. Ten keys is $14, you will receive ten games, you save 30%. And, uh, powered by G2A. Oh, uh, okay, so we're about to get the same shit. No doubt. Okay, so let's not mess about. Let's, uh, I have very little faith in this site, so I'm just gonna do five keys. It's untested, I've no idea what's about to happen, so bear with me. Okay, so I've just done the purchase, and this is what I've been presented with. You will get an email after your payment is confirmed. Please check your spam folder, uh-huh. If you didn't receive an email after a few minutes, please contact our support at support at steamdeals.com. Let's check our email, and again, I'll be back shortly. Okay, so, uh, so far, 
nothing has appeared. Um, it's only been about a minute or so since I ordered, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and guess what? I'm going to do a little drawing while I wait for my email to come in. Okay guys, so that drawing's taken about 10-15 minutes, it's not the best, I was rushing, I had the wrong brush selected from the start, never mind, but Jerry has finally got his comeuppance, oh yes, um, yeah, and we have a problem, still no codes, still says payment pending, shouldn't take this long, if you have a look down at my clock here, it says 12.52, ordered, 11.28 that'll be that'll be 12.28 so so far it's 25 minutes since we've bought this um, let me just refresh this page show keys can't show keys we have nothing so I will be back later to check on the progress and you shall see when I start my video what time that is so take note of the time here 12.53 so I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so it's now 11 minutes past one. My Steam keys have showed up and um, it does tell you what games you've got as soon as you click it. So here's the games I've got. Collisions, Wooden Floor, Particular, Overcast, Walden and the Werewolf and Lily and Sasha, Guardian Angels. Now, I do believe I've got two of these games already but we're gonna check them out on Steam nonetheless. So let's have a look at number one, which is Collisions. Um, here it is, two pounds and 79 pence. It's got thumbs up, it's actually got a positive review. 2D engine. Collisions is an atmospheric puzzle game. The puzzles vary from one screen to the next. Some are easy, others require timing, logic, and anticipation. Wow. Actually, I'm liking the look of this, I've got to say. It came out in July of this year. I've got to say, yeah, I'm, I'm not too displeased with this. So let's, uh, let's head on down to the meat and bones of this here page. Now, there's no Metacritic review. There's 25 positive reviews, six negative haters. So this guy has played for half an hour and he says, this is an interesting puzzle game where you control few little things to get your ball to the exit. Yeah, I kind of got that. And he's had a whopping nine views on his YouTube video. This guy, 3.9 hours, and he says, uh, Actually, this is my second attempt to write a review of Collisions. Not that it's so difficult, but I needed some time to think. How unfortunate that as humans we are only able to grasp a concept through comparisons. Boring mate, boring. So um, this guy, he's played for almost an hour and he says, Timing challenge game mobile port. This game presents you with a set of 50 timing challenges that took me 45 minutes to complete I can now replay 20 of these to achieve a star for completing them with a single attempt presumably the other 30 levels are either too easy or depend on blind luck much like a pachinko machine 
or maybe these were only 20 levels and the numbering is weird. Who knows? There are two or three. It's review, man. Jesus. So yeah, I, I'm going to give this one a spin. Yeah, thumbs up from Jamie. So next game is called Wooden Floor. I hope it's not a wooden floor simulator um, because that really wouldn't be the best thing. So it's £4.79. Here it is. Mixed reviews. Unreal technology. Wooden Floor is a first-person horror game full of visual trickery. Not being able to predict what is going to happen next, you need to make your way through the haunted house. Basic looking? Adventure indie mystery horror. Came out in February of this year. Yeah, I might give this a spin. You know I love a horror game. I'm uh, rarely scared. £4.79 though. Supports controller. Let's flick on down. 2.2 hours, 2.1 hours hours 0 0.6 1 hour 1.6 so very short play times from the user reviewers um, kill screen playlist selection says uh, gives it an award part of kill screen playlist selection for July 2014 this came out in February 2015 yeah I don't know so let's have a look at some of the positives this is another game where I wish there was a maybe option between yes or no far as recommending goes on the one hand I like the look and feel the sounds creeped me out and were great this is one solid horror indie game that definitely deserves more attention a good one I must say a very good one right here we go so we've got pros and cons uh, we've got the graphics are not bad that's not a pro, they're not bad. Sounds create an eerie atmosphere. Cons, no option menu. Made me sick. It made me sick due to a lack of mouse sensitivity options, motion blur options. Too many spelling, grammar errors to count. Not scary. Um, if he's talking about grammar, surely he should be uh, here in this list, be using semicolons. Um, I, I don't wish to pick bones with him, but if he's going to be picky, you know, get it right your fucking self, you knob. Anyway, uh, right, so this game is complete. Shit, I'm assuming. Go to McDonald's with your five bucks instead. Uh huh. I think this game is pretty good, not as much. That's the best spelling of much I've ever seen. Congratulations, Sir Young. You are so fucking stupid. I'm not even reading. I'm not even reading the rest of that. So that is Wooden Floor. So the third game in this list is Particular. And those of you who have um, seen our previous Mystery Steam Key unboxing, you will have seen me pick this up. Now, £3.99, and what you're getting is a co-op tower defense game, which I liken to looking like the insides of an electrical piece of equipment. As you can see here, I have no idea what the fuck is happening in this screen. I have not played this since I got it in my last bundle. But if anyone is eager to play this and would like a code, I have a code from the steamdeals.com bundle. So, just to reiterate, this is an extremely simplistic tower game with music and visuals that will put you to sleep. There is no strategy involved or much in terms of gameplay. Additionally, the camera angle is awful. Absolutely terrible. This guy, 8.4 hours. Okay, this game is what it is. Thanks, mate. That's all you're getting. And uh, terrible, says TQ Wirt 13. Steam level zero, somehow. Zero. He's got 82 reviews, 563 products on account, and 71% uh, of people found this review helpful. So, uh, well done the public um, for being stupid right so on with our fourth key and our fourth key is called overcast walden and the werewolf here it is 15p it's 15 pence and um, steamdeals.com said each game that you get will be over two dollars so um, I shall be moaning to them this has got mixed reviews but 1059 reviews in total so the game tells the story of Walden an old hunter who lives alone in the woods why does he live alone in the woods what is his social malfunction recently Walden began to be haunted um, by a mysterious creature that destroyed the village located near his cabin killing every person residing 
on the premises. They reside on the premises, okay? Now, Walden wants revenge. Um, so, lots of blurry blurry. Is he perhaps an old drunk? Fear is coming, apparently. Uh, looks alright. About werewolf. First person horror, potentially, 15p. Yeah, I'm, I'm not happy. Um, alright, this is a promotional price, but it's usually 79 pence. So, does that come to $2? No, that's about $1.50 if you use current exchange rates. So they lied. And this came out on my 33rd birthday. How nice for me. Let's have a look. This guy, he's played it uh, for 0 0.2 of an hour. Frequent typos in the writing. Well, I wouldn't expect there to be frequent typing uh, typos in the graphics, would you? Every single texture in the game is shiny for some apparent reason, as if the whole game is like wet. Okay, when you reload, the gun falls on the floor to reload while you continue to hold the lantern. Okay, at the end of the first let, I'm not gonna read that because I don't want to spoil it because I really want to play this. Overcast is an amateur attempt at a horror game that does just this to neither of these descriptors. I like that. Um, Overcast isn't a bad game. It's not a good one. It's strange and the plot is awful but it doesn't cross the threshold of being atrocious until the final three levels. There's only three levels in it though. So um, negative 425, positive 634. There is no, absolutely no Metacritic review. That's all you're getting. He looks like he's stuck inside a whiskey bottle um, or something, or an absinthe bottle. I don't know. So on with our final, final Steam code. And it's Lily and Sasha Guardian Angels. Now, if you have a look here, it tells me Lily and Sasha Nexus of Souls is already in my library. That's because it came from a G2A bundle. So it looks like G2A and their affiliates are just knocking out Lily and Sasha games left, right and centre. So this one is $5.99. Let's have a little look at it. After Sasha was deemed unworthy of redemption, she passed through the Nexus of Souls. Okay, so that's the previous game in the series, I see. Lily, who had promised Sasha that she would never give up, followed her through the portal. Give up what? Give up cigarettes? Give up chocolate? Give up swearing? Give up being in shit games? Just don't know. So this came out in July of this year. It's an RPG. Um... Apparently RPG Maker is one of the tags here, so potentially there's some creative elements. It doesn't look shit, to be fair. If we have a look at it, it doesn't look too shit. Uh, nice graphics. Um, yeah. Alright, I suppose. So let's have a little spin down here. See what we're getting. Before buying, you need to understand that this is game three in a three-part set that directly continues off each other. Got ya, target practice, who has way too many games in his Steam library. If you've played the other two, you really need to play this one to finish off the series. Pretty good. Not recommended. Is there even a game here, or is it just the world's worst visual novel done in RPG Maker? RPG Maker, if you don't know, is a bit of software where you can actually create RPGs, surprisingly. As if the name didn't give it away. After pressing new game, then spending 10 minutes of clicking through some of the worst game dialogue I can remember, I gave up. Well, no, you didn't, clearly, because you spent three and a half hours on it, you fucking absolute twat. Oh, look who it is. TQ Wert 14 again. Bellend. Top Steam review Bellend. Only done three reviews. He must have been on uh, SteamDeals.com and got the same fucking bundle as I did. Bell end. Right, so there you have it. That is the SteamDeals.com Steam Game Lottery. Let's go back to the homepage, have a quick look. Every game is worth more than $2 straight away. That's bollocks. Uh, so you are always winning. We know we're not. We had a 15 pence game in there, which would ordinarily be 79 pence, which comes to roughly, roughly about $1.50. So this is fucking lies. 
Uh, no DLC, no demos, no free games, only region free and multi language keys. And um, get the chance of winning epic Steam games. Winning? What was I a part of a competition? I just don't know. Um, so customers love this store. Where, where, where do I state if I love it or not? Um, where? Don't know. But I, I definitely, definitely wouldn't. On this occasion, recommend spending. How much did I spend? Eight dollars on that absolute pile of uh, cat wank. Quite frankly. Um, so there you go, if there's anybody out there who wants a particular tower defense co-op game that could be set inside, I don't know, a ZX Spectrum, I'm not entirely sure what it's meant to be. Is it based on Tron? Who knows? But if anyone wants that key, leave your names down below and I will do a Steam key giveaway. And you, you lucky sod, you can get one of the free shitty games that I don't fucking want. So remember to leave a comment below and let us know if there's any other websites that you want us to check out by dropping us an email to the email address in the description below. Do not leave a comment with the link in it because that comment will auto be blocked for spamming us. So thank you very much for watching guys and until next time, see you later.